Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. It is the second to last day of August, which means it is the second to last day of Vlogus. It is, let's see, it is 8.57 right now, and I have been up for the past hour plus, and I just like jumped into it. I got a really good night's sleep last night, praise the Lord. <laughs> hi, baby. Nora, say good morning. Say hi. Anyway, I got a really good night's sleep last night, so I woke up roaring and ready to go. And I've already folded two loads of laundry and started another one, and I emptied the dishwasher and reloaded it, and I've taken all my vitamins, and I've gotten Nora breakfast, and it's just been, it's dead. And Riley, <laughs> it sounds like Riley's home. We, we had a Walmart grocery pickup for this morning because we weren't ready for one on Saturday when we normally have one. And he said he would go grab it. So he's coming back with that now and we're gonna unload the groceries. It's chaos. All right, I don't know what you could hear or not hear in that previous segment because everyone was freaking out. But Riley came back with the groceries and we unloaded them together. I didn't show you them this week because I've already shown a couple of times throughout this series of vlogs in this month and it's the same sorts of things every single time. I don't want to bore you with it. I am feeling so energized and motivated today. I just did another load of laundry and I've just been really on my game today. So I'm going to take advantage of the energy that I have. I'm going to make some banana bread because I got new bananas today from the store and these ones have gone off so or they're going off. So I'm going to go ahead and make some banana bread this morning. Nora's already fed and dressed. She's off playing with her baby dolls and um I'm gonna see if I can make this and then get myself fed and dressed. <laughs> it's been a wonderful Monday so far. All right, the banana bread is finished. I need to put it in the oven now, obviously. So it's gonna go in for an hour. I will leave a link. My oven's always filthy, just let me live. Um, I will leave a link to the recipe below. It's a super simple recipe. I love it because if I ever feel like making banana bread, I feel like making it and moving on with my life. It's not, I don't want a fancy banana bread recipe and this one's simple and it turns out perfect every single time. While the banana bread is baking, I actually pulled the pan that I keep at the bottom of my oven to catch drippings out and rinsed it off and then I just put some of my, the Dawn Power Wash on it. Hi baby! You want me to come play with you? Okay, one second. So I'm gonna let that do its thing for a few minutes and then once it comes out, once the banana bread comes out, I'll scrub this down and put it back in. It's a lot easier. I know some people do like tin foil at the bottom, which is equally as easy I would imagine. It's just a lot easier than trying to clean on the inside of the oven. I still need to do that, but this is a good catch off. All right, Nora, let's go play. The banana bread is out of the oven and it looks amazing and the whole house smells amazing. I can't wait to have a slice later this afternoon. So last night and yesterday evening, some of you may have seen yesterday's video, I organized Colin's nursery. I got his drawers in order and I got his, all this. And it looks really good. And then after I signed off for the vlog for the evening, I went ahead and started working on my birth box. I'm giving birth at a birthing center, so it's different than what I would need for a hospital. But I just started kind of getting everything um, situated. Hi, baby. And I actually made a lot of good progress. Right? Yeah, she's starting to get tired. It's about nap time. Um, I made actually a lot of good progress and checked a lot of things off of my list, which is very exciting and um i mean my list is very whittled down of the things that i still have left so it's getting really real it's super 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 exciting and a little toy ah! are those boots say boots no good job oh there's the elephant house where's the kitty cat Meow. Good job. And a little toy house. And a young mouse. 
and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush can you say Good night, room. There's a little mouse. Bitty, bitty mouse. <laughs> Good night, moon. Where's the moon? Good oh. job. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Me? Bears. One, two, three, bears. Nora and I have had such a good day together. Um, I have struggled the past hour. We've been watching TV together because I'm having really intense Braxton Hicks right now. <laughs> so I'm just laying on the couch drinking water and she, we're watching TV together. But I just had a message from someone on Instagram to say that my shop was featured on Buzzfeed in this article, 35 things that are just incredibly cute and right on time for fall. And I am number one. That is so cool. This article was written by a woman named Heather who writes for BuzzFeed and has mentioned my products a few other times and I appreciate it so much. I'm not sure if she follows my YouTube channel, but if she does, Heather, thank you so much for um, the shout out. And so she wrote like a little thing about the Pumpkin Spice Life sweatshirt and then a little blurb about the business. So, so cool. It's like very cave-like in here right now. We have the TV on and all the blinds drawn just to keep it cool because it's so darn hot outside and I can't stand it. I went outside to put the trash on the curb because it's trash day and I was like, it's a no from me. It's a no from me. Um, this baby just feels enormous in my belly and I keep getting these Braxton Hicks. I've been drinking a lot of water all day. I think they're just gonna... I know that they normally ramp up a lot towards the end of pregnancy, so it's normal. It's just a little uncomfortable. Tonight for dinner, I am going to make copycat Panera bread broccoli cheddar soup, which sounds so good. I have not made this recipe in so many years. I remember, distinctly remember making it back in college, which I graduated from college in 2013, so it was probably in 2012. Um, it's been a while. That would be nine years ago. Um, but I might have made it since then. I just don't remember. I'm really looking forward to making it. It's not a hard recipe. Um, but I'm going to wait for Riley to get home so he can hang out with Nora because I, she's teething a little bit and a little clingy and I'm not sure she's going to be super interested in me like in the kitchen cooking while she's just on her own. So I'm going to hang out with her, rest a little longer. <laughs> Maybe Riley will want to make dinner. No, it's fine. I don't, he would. I'm sure if I asked him, he would. Um, I don't mind making it. I just need to sit down for a few more minutes and then he should be home in the next 20 or 30 minutes and I'll get cracking on dinner. All right, I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. So this, the I have not added the cheddar yet. That's the very last step. I'm just letting the veggies um, cook here for about 15 minutes. Um, but everything else is done in the recipe. All I have to do is add the cheddar cheese at the very end. And then over here, I have some crescent rolls that I just rolled up that are gonna go into the oven for about 10 minutes. So those will be served with it. So pretty easy dinner. This does take, I forgot that it took a little while because you have to let the broth mixture simmer for a while so that it thickens and then you have to add the veggies and let that simmer while those cook. So it does take a little bit a little bit of time but the recipe itself is very simple i will link it below as i always do all right we're just about to sit down and eat well i'm just about to sit down and eat my family's just about to dig in and here's what it looks like all finished looks super delicious and just like panera's and then we have crescent rolls on the side and nora's trying some is it yummy it looks really good i'm really looking forward to digging in Hey guys, it's about 9.30 now and Nora is down for the night. Riley and I are actually sitting at the kitchen table having a little meeting about the winter Etsy line, <laughs> which is super exciting because we are launching this coming Sunday. So by the time this video that you are watching right here and now is live, the winter line will have 
been launched. So make sure to head to BlairLambDesign.com to check it out. There will be a sale accompanying the launch, and there's always a link in my more info bar below. So, oh, I'm out of breath. Um, today was a really good day. Spent a lot of it, obviously, just hanging out with Nora around the house. Dinner was delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend that recipe. If you like broccoli cheddar soup, it was so yummy. Um, it would have been really good in like a big old sourdough bread bowl, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that would be a whole other thing. So <laughs> maybe if any of you are continuing to make sourdough bread from, you know, quarantine days back last March, make that and then make the soup and blow your family's minds because it'll be so good. Anyway, I will catch you guys tomorrow for day 31 of Vlogus, the very last day. I cannot believe it. Um, I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.